Hey, it's Zenjen with your groovy minute with Zenjen. I already recorded a really long one, but I decided to go back and make it shorter. So here you are. Um, hi. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we uh, are doing okay. Um, we feel kind of trapped in our house. Uh, typically, as you know, we are very outdoorsy and we also take a lot of risks and go and do fun things. Uh, since our crisis uh, in January, we've kind of been trapped in the car or, or basically in the house and hmm, it's uh, not fun. And we've been at uh, searching for a hospital for Justin to go to and I wanted to share with you that Although New England has an enormously more amount, that was a poor use of words, but uh, there's tons more uh, resources, which is why I moved here with my family, because I was worried that if we had a crisis or if we needed more help, um, we wouldn't have it in Washington State. Uh, so my purpose for groovy people isn't this a cool bead, by the way, ADHD, but uh, thanks, Lisa, for making this bead. Um, but my purpose for making Groovy People was to basically um, create the resources that I have found here, uh, and even more than what we've found here for people everywhere, uh, especially people living the autism adventure. It's quite an adventure, and this last month, has been such a learning experience to figure out exactly what my expectations are for this world of um, care for my kids and just how little there is still available. And if you're listening to this and you want your, uh, am I? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm recording. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, um, but if you're listening to this and you want to share this with your lawmakers um, or with any major decision makers in the world, share groovy people. Uh, tell them our story. Um, let me tell it because it's your story, really. Um, my kids. I want just the same as my for my kids as anyone else does, and that's a life with freedom and kindness and um, normalcy to some degree, whatever normal means. Uh, like for instance, my son, he's so beautiful and he's such a kind-hearted soul and he's loving and handsome. And just because he has autism doesn't mean he's incapable of having intimate relationships in his lifetime. And God, I want that for him. I don't want him to live with his mom forever. Ugh. Who wants to do that? Not that we don't all love our moms. Hi, mom, I love you. <laughs> but you know what I mean. And my daughter, you know, uh, it's funny, last year, because she had trouble with math, because especially the uh, reading comprehension uh, story problems in algebra, uh, it's like reading a different language for her, you know, she has to think in pictures and then uh, she has to like interpret a new language to do algebra. So I helped her do that, you know, I helped her say, okay, uh, uh, the word um, is, is like the equal sign, you know, so if we just would tweak our teaching just a little to make, and our world just a little to make room for people who have these challenges, or just different challenges. Each one of us has challenges. We all need to open ourselves up. And I myself, same thing. I need to open myself up to people that are different from me so that I can um, better accommodate them and love people. So that's the message. Uh, my story about Brianna was that last year, because of her difficulty with that, the teachers and the IEP team asked me not to put her in in honors classes. 
They're like, oh, it'll be really hard for her. We just would rather put her in regular ed classes and then put her in honors if she's doing well in those classes. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense because she wants to be a scientist. She wants to be a biologist. And sorry, <laughs> having some tur turbulence. Anyway, and so why wouldn't you put her in a honors classes she's going to need that if she's going to go to college and want to be a doctor of any sort or a biologist and they're like well it's just going to be so hard on her we don't want to make things harder i go well life is hard um <laughs> you're going to have to tell her if you don't want her to take those classes because she has her heart set on being a biologist so i'm going to not tell her that i don't think she should take honors classes and now the funny part is is she's taking honors um science and she's taking honors uh algebra and she's getting A's and low and high B's out of those classes, and yet uh, the typical classes, the ones that aren't as challenging, she gets like A's and B's out of, and maybe a little lower B. It's kind of funny. So the moral of the story is: keep having high expectations and don't quit. And I know that nobody in the field that's trying to help our family wants to hear me say that because they feel like it's putting us in danger, they feel like it's me not accepting help, but I am accepting help, and I have accepted help, and I've seen what help is out there, and I still feel like people are hurting, and people are lacking, and people are turned away for reasons like insurance and um, that they don't fit the criteria for the, you know, uh, ideal setting and also they're being, we were being told to go back to our hometown uh, in an emergency setting even though we had driven all the way to UMass. We were told to go home because it was inappropriate for us to go to an outside um, uh, hospital and we also, in the, in the hospital, we were told that, you know, having the computer out was inappropriate, even though the people were letting us have the thing out. So I, I'm just, I'm trying to say that what is inappropriate? And why is it so inappropriate to make special accommodations for people who want the very best? And why is that met with so much resistance? Why ask why, <laughs> right? Apparently Buddha would probably giggle at me. Um, but right now, I'm sitting here, and when I heard all the news about, um, we had a little glitch in the system, and I was pretty crushed by the fact that we had waited for a particular hospital and we did not get admitted on the day that we expected to, and we had been through an exceptionally hard week. And, so I listened to the song Imagine by John Lennon five times before I would talk to anyone in my family. And poor Jake, he's here, and he already thinks, you know, like, that I'm um, pushing the limits of my family quite, you know, as him being introduced. I don't know if you know about Jake, but he's, like, the one that was introduced to our family. He's helping our family and working with us since we've had a crisis. He was hired right before the crisis, and he just jumped in. So, anyway... He arrives here and I'm playing Imagine <laughs> five times and I'm like, okay, how many times is that? I was asking Brianna and she kept playing it and I was singing it really loud and I danced with Justin and he twirled me and I twirled with Brianna all the way through five times of that song because that was therapy for me. So if I need five times John Lennon's song Imagine just to make it through certain crises and <laughs> call me a hippie, call me you know, whatever you like, but I still believe it's possible. And sometimes I just need to hold on to that. And that is why I created Groovy People, because I think we can still create more resources, more acceptance, more love, and more openness. And that's my journey too, is to be open, loving, and accepting of what is. So there you have it groovy 10 minutes this time but I figure you most of you want to know kind of what's going on with us we have been through a pretty rough month 
Every time I say we're on the home stretch, we get a U-turn, so I'm not gonna say that anymore. I'm just gonna say every day is a new day and we're living it and we're making it and we come up with new ways to push through. And I thank everyone who has helped us along the way to make it. And those of you who believe other than, the, differently than I do, thank you for still loving us and pushing us through this. And that's what life is all about. We believe differently, but together we can come together and create amazingness. That's my word of the week. Amazingness. I'm going with it. <laughs> I hope I haven't bored you too much. I hope you stick with us. We have some really great things coming. I'm going to Washington in April, I hope. Um, hope all that comes through the 16th to the 21st. Um, I'm hoping to talk to people and teach some people and I'm hoping my family has some added stability by that point. Um, you know, I keep hoping. So you keep hoping too and, and we'll do this together. Have a groovy week. It's me. Bye.